guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week is going to be kind of different. Um, I don't have any major projects done this week, so I'm going to be working on a few smaller projects that really <laughs> wouldn't make sense if I tried to make a video out of them. But I figured I'd show you what I was up to this week anyway, so it's kind of going to be more of a vlog style. So you'll get like an in-depth look at uh, my life. I'm going to be hanging some artwork up behind the couch that I have done previously. Actually, my husband has helped me do a couple of these and they've just been done and never hung up and it's kind of sad. So um, I'm going to make a couple adjustments to them and then just hang them up on the wall. But I'm not going to be hanging them up on the wall. It's going to be <laughs> my husband that's going to be hanging them up on the wall because I don't hang stuff up. I'm terrible at it. So. He thinks he is too, but he's actually amazing at it. So this is one of the projects I am going to be working on today. Um, it's a world map, and my husband and I actually worked on this oh, I don't know, two years ago, I think, um, quite a while ago, and it has never been hung up because it's made out of solid wood and very heavy. So we're going to attempt to hang it up today. But before we do, I had to um, install some I don't even know if you can see that. Some extra support just to hang it up with. Um, and I need to whitewash the new wood because I already have whitewashed this wood. So to whitewash, all I used was some leftover chalk paint, a paintbrush, and a bowl. And then I just mixed a 50-50 ratio of water to chalk paint. I brushed it on there. And then I wiped it off with a just scrap cloth. And I did that for all the sides. That's project number one done. Sorry, my hair. I um, I never do anything with my hair. Why am I apologizing? Apologizing for being lazy with my hair. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let that dry and let her outside because she's begging. And I'll move on to the next project that I'm gonna do today. <laughs> so the next project that I tackled was cleaning up the spare room slash filming room slash craft room. Uh, the dogs had kind of taken it over and plus I had a bunch of craft stuff all over the floor. So don't judge me, it was really messy but I was tackling it that day. And as you can see, Pixel and Rose were helping a lot. And then the next project was actually taking down the paper flower wall and removing all of the sticky tack from the wall and from the flowers. It actually did end up leaving marks on the wall. I'm going to have to get some extra paint and just paint over the spots where it left residue. So this is the other piece of art that I am putting on either side of the world map on the wall, but I want to frame it out with like an actual frame so it looks a little bit more put together but it's well that one's upside down but it's two of them and they're navy and I made them a really long time ago and once again never really hung them up anywhere and please ignore that that's from on the bed I have to make the bed and everything again but yeah so I'm gonna go get some trim 
from Home Depot and hopefully I can film some of that for you all. Now while we were in Home Depot filming this, it was so weird because I felt like somebody was going to tell us to not cut uh, these boards, but um, we did and it wasn't that bad. My sweet husband used the saw for me. So it's a new day today and today I'm going to be sanding these down and kind of removing any splits in it and hopefully painting and assembling. I don't think it should take very long. Excuse you, you're making noises. What are you doing? So I am so sad right now. I, there's somebody, why is there somebody always walking in front of um, <laughs> the window when I look ridiculous recording? Anyway, so I went ahead and sanded the wood down for the frame for the seahorse art. And unfortunately it's too short on the sides and I'm gonna have to come up with something to fix it, but I'm not sure what yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it, but let me show you the issue. So this is the issue. It's um, uh, it's too short, just by a hair. And then this one is the same sad story. Too short there. And a bigger gap there. I think I might fix it with hot glue and some jute twine to cover it up on the corners, make it like a feature. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out once it's painted and attached to the frame. But yeah, I'm gonna go paint now. So to paint these, I just used some white acrylic paint that I had gotten from Michaels and just did two coats. Once they had finished drying, I just ended up putting them on there and securing them down with hot glue just to keep it in place. And then I put two nails in each board, just attaching it to the canvas frame. And what I didn't show you after this is I went ahead and afterwards touched up the paint where I had to hammer the nails in. And here they are finished. I actually put them in the same spot that the round rope mirrors were in. Um, I moved those to where I was gonna put the world map at. Then I went ahead and went to Walmart and found these battery operated LED string lights. And I wanted a little bit of pizzazz to the back of the world map. I went ahead and taped with painter's tape the light strand to the back of the world map. And here you can see that I realized that I put the battery pack on the wrong side. <laughs> so here I'm switching it because I wanted the battery pack to be on the side of the window so you didn't see it. And here's the world map finished. I think the rope mirrors look much better on either side of this. And this is how it looks at night. Anyway, 
that was my week guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. And Pixel and Res say bye. <laughs> bye guys.